So football is finally back. The long-awaited return of club football is back this weekend and in the Championship I am going to be predicting the outcomes of every single game. But before we get into it, please make sure to hit like and subscribe so you do not miss a video. So starting off then on the Friday night, we've got Blackburn versus Derby. Two sides that I imagine will be scrapping it out at the bottom end of the table come the end of the season. But I'm going to be starting off with the visitors now, Derby County. They've made some good additions, but crucially, Spirits are still going to be high after a very successful season last time around. And they all know that these are the games they've got to be getting three points from if they want to be surviving this season. As for Blackburn, they're going to be in front of their home fans. And crucially, Sammy Schmonix looks like he'll be around for Friday's game. So will that tilt the odds in their favour? I think so. I'm going to go with a narrow home win. I'm going to go with 2-1 to Blackburn. So the other Friday night game is at Deepdale where Preston take on Sheffield United. It's a real tough first game for Preston. But at home, they've got to have some chance in this. And there's a chance for both sides to really set a marker down to the league. Preston has been a very consistent mid-table side for a number of years now. Is this going to be the year that they push on and get into a playoff spot? I'm not sure, but also it's a time for Sheffield United to potentially put a marker down because I mean, I've shown them a lot of confidence this year. I think they're going to get back up, but a lot of people are saying differently. So this is a real good game for them in front of the Sky cameras. Well, they all are this weekend, but on the Friday night, there's going to be a lot of eyes on that game and uh, it'll be a real time to, to put a show on and send a message to the rest of the league from game one. I think they're going to do it. I think their quality is going to be a bit too much for Preston. And I've got a 2-0 away win for Sheffield United. So next up is Cardiff versus Sunderland. This is going to be such an interesting game in my opinion. Two sides that are becoming... Well, Sunderland are becoming a championship regular once again. Cardiff are a championship regular. This is a real good game to see where these two sides are at at this moment in time. Sunderland obviously... Didn't have the greatest of seasons last year, considering the one they had before that. Cardiff, they will want to have a better season than last year as well. Um, I'm not sure where this one's going to go, to be honest. I think this is going to be a fantastic game of football. A tight one, a scrappy one. I'm going to go with a 1-0 Sunderland win and uh, getting their season off to a good start. Another real interesting game here is Hull versus Bristol City at the MKM. It's a weak and whole side under new management. I don't really know what to expect from them. Whereas with Bristol City, they had a really good back end to the season last year. It took them a while under Liam Manning to sort of settle into things. But with a couple of new additions, they could get a win here. I don't think they will, though. I'm going to go very safe for this. I'm going to go with a one all draw. And I think that Hull will be happy with this result. It's definitely going to show where they are this season in terms of backing up a fantastic year last time around. They do need to strengthen in the rest of this transfer window. They haven't done enough yet, but I think they're going to get a draw out of this game. So it is over to my boys, Portsmouth. Now we go away to Ellen Road, which is, for me, the toughest game of the season. Leeds was so good there last year. And, uh, well, first couple of games for us, we couldn't have got much worse. We've got Leeds, then Luton, so that's great. But... From my perspective, we can have a go at this. It doesn't really matter. We've almost written it off as a loss, and whatever happens, happens. It gives us a chance to go out there and express ourselves. We brought in a couple of new players. Matt Ritchie uh, will be the headlining of all of our signings really this summer. He's got that, that Premier League experience, so he could make something for us, but I'm going to be realistic about this one. I do think we're going to lose, despite Leeds obviously losing Archie Gray and Somerville. So uh, I've gone with a 3-1 loss for us, but... I'll take that, you know what I mean? As long as we put on a good performance and show something in the game, that's enough for me. And uh, we'll move on in a couple of weeks' time when we go to Millsborough, which I think is our first real chance of getting some points on the board. So, Millsborough versus Swansea at home. Borough are quite a good side. Michael Carrick definitely needs to start this season off very well. Um, after last year, taking a couple of steps back. Swansea can cause some issues, though. They are a good championship side. I think this one's got goals in it. For some reason, I just think that both these sides are going to really go for it first game. And I've got a 3-2 Middlesbrough win. A narrow win, but three points is three points. So, Millwall versus Watford now. 
This is a really tough start for Millwall against a really good Watford side under Tom Cleverley. This is a statement maker for Watford. They can really send the message out that they are coming for those playoff spots with a good win here. And I think they are going to. Likewise for Millwall, I obviously predicted them to go down. Millwall fans don't think that. So this is a chance for them to make a statement against one of the top clubs in the division. I don't think they're going to do that though. I think Watford are going to win this one fairly comfortably. I've gone with a 2-0 win for Watford. So again, we've got another newly promoted side. Oxford versus Norwich. Another tough game for a newly promoted side. Oxford, it's the real chance to show the rest of the league what they're about because I don't think I'm alone in predicting them to come bottom of the league. I think they're going to be a tough side for Norwich to break down. And from Oxford's perspective, I think this is the perfect time to play a side like this when they don't really know what to expect from you. You're not in a position where you have to fight or anything. You can just go out there and express yourself. And I think they're going to make it really hard for them. Their counter-attacking style does make it hard for teams to break them down. But in the end, I think Norwich's quality is going to show through. So I've got a 2-1 away win for Norwich. Now over to QPR versus West Brom at Loftus Road. It's going to be a tough game for the Baggies if they want to get all three points. I've got this one being a pretty boring game. Neither side really going to be able to find a breakthrough. And I've got a 0-0 draw. I think QPR will definitely take that against one of the top sides in the league. QPR need to have a better season than last time around. They want to become a more established championship side once again after having that, that season where... It just drops off a little bit. Mid-table will be a perfect season for them. And I think they're going to start off pretty well with a 0-0 draw. So our final Saturday game in Stoke versus Coventry. Coventry obviously are the better side on paper. But Stoke City is a tough place to go as many teams have found out over the years. I'm not really too sure what Stoke's like nowadays. Obviously attendances are dropping as they uh, spend more and more years outside of the top flight. I think Coventry need to start this season off with a win because last year they weren't at their best. Obviously, they did have a good cup run. But um, to send a marker down, this is what the first game week's all about. Setting a marker down to the league, letting everyone know that you are here and you are here to compete. I think Coventry are going to narrowly win this one. I've gone with a 2-1 win to Coventry. So on to our Sunday game. This is going to be a really good game of football. Two sides that stayed up last year and are looking to potentially progress on. Sheffield Wednesday at home. They are, in my opinion, they are the better side out of the two teams. Uh, Hillsborough is always a tough place to go if you are any team. And I think that they're going to take the chance to start the season strong, take it in their stride. And I've got a 2-0 win to Sheffield Wednesday. But you never know, Plymouth could turn up on their day. And I don't completely count them out. I think they are going to give it a good go, but I just don't think they're going to have enough in this one. Now, a complete opposite end of the spectrum here with the final game of the match day. Luton versus Burnley, two sides that have just been relegated. Obviously, at Kenilworth Road, it has become a pretty famous stadium over the last year or so. And, uh, well, are they going to bring that atmosphere that's seen them turn over teams at the Kenilworth Road, getting fantastic results against sides like Liverpool and taking Arsenal all the way to the 95th minute. I think they're going to get a decent result here. Again, Burnley is another one. You don't really know what to expect from them this season under new management. So I've gone very safe for this prediction and I've gone with a one-all draw. And neither side really going to take all three points. And I think both sides will settle for the point. So that just about wraps up this video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. As I mentioned earlier, it really helps the channel out. We are so close to 400 subscribers. But let me know in the comments below how you think your team's going to get on. And I'll see you in the next one.